What's up guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development and today I'm going to discuss the Dumbbell Rear Delt Fly. Uh, this is a fantastic move for training the rear delts. I'm going to have Sue go ahead and turn around uh, and, and showcase specifically what we're wanting with the rear delts. So, with the rear delts, a commonality that you see with this movement is that individuals want to work in this plane of motion. We see that this is not truly shortening the rear delt because we have more range of motion and we'll show that here by letting Sue come forward. We're going to drop these down ever so slightly to about a 45 degree angle. Now we have a greater range of motion and now you see that rear delt really shortening. So this is going to train the, the fibers into that shortened range and going to create more tension with the rear delt as a whole. So we are going to make the adjustment from this position down ever so slightly to get more of those fibers recruited. You're going to be able to handle more load as well as see better gains within your rear delts. So I'll have Sue go ahead and uh, get on the bench. Now with this movement, as she picks up the dumbbells, she's going to have the dumbbells out in front of her. You're thinking as though you want to drag the knuckles on the floor. So you're wanting to allow the scapula to, to fall forward. We don't need to be in this aggressive retraction. We're going to naturally retract the scapula as she is pulling the dumbbells out, but only it's not going to be this aggressive movement. It's only going to happen organically. So as she's coming back down, the scapula is going to protract, and then as she is pulling back, it's going to go into retraction. And you will see from that front angle that her arm path is staying in that 45 degree angle and it's fully shortening that rear delt. Perfect. And that is the prone dumbbell rear delt fly.